Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex. And today I want to give you guys my tips and advice on how to fast track your way to unlocking Null World Boss Legend and how you can best get there as fast as possible, as efficiently as possible, as cheaply as possible if you have not yet unlocked the Null World Boss Legend because there are requirements to unlock it and that can sometimes require you building up other characters and so that it becomes pretty tricky. Do you skip the missions with crystals? Do you build up the characters? Do you do something in between? So I'm going to give you guys all of that detailed advice. So if you have not yet unlocked Null, but you want to know, should I be trying to unlock Null and should I do it this way or that way? This video is perfect for you. But first, I'm going to talk to you guys about a limited time reward um, event. You, you have to hit this one up. The, the rewards are amazing and they're super easy to obtain. The only thing is that you don't obtain them in game. You, I mean, you'll get the rewards in game, but what you have to do is outside of the game. So you head on over to the official forums, which you can actually find through the in-game button up there, which is that little blue button with the um, speech bubble and the pencil. Uh, or you could just go to forum.netmarble.com slash future fight. And you have until the uh, Christmas Eve, the day before Christmas to do this. This is the Dark Avengers December community event. There's actually two events. They're both running until Christmas Eve. The first one is the video contest, which is usually not a uh, reasonable or not, not a feasible event for most players where you have to record and upload content about the update, but you get crystals for doing that, which is awesome. So if you want to dabble in that, give it a, give it a shot, download, you know, A to Z recorder or some app on your phone and then record your, your gameplay, record your, your screen. That's well and good. But the event that I'm interested in, the event that's way easier and still has really spicy rewards is the December update hero growth score. All you have to do is hit 100,000 growth score or higher on eight of the 10 possible heroes. This is what makes this event even better. Not only are the rewards super juicy, but you only have to hit eight of the 10. So even if you haven't even unlocked Molecule Man, like most players haven't, he's you can ignore him completely, and then you can ignore Dakin, Moonstone, Ares, Sentry. You can ignore any one of those other characters, and there's already automatically four very easy to farm, very easy to build up characters, even if you don't have them. Even if there's zero star not unlocked, you still have five days to do this, and you can easily grind up Bullseye, Green Goblin, Groot and Scorpion, just just like that. And you can push for the other ones as well. So all you have to do is follow the rules. You have to write your title, December of video contest, or sorry, not, not December video contest. Um, the, what is it? December, December update hero growth, and then the number of heroes that you have, and then your in-game name. So whatever your in-game name is in Marvel Future Fight. So even if you have more than eight of the heroes at 100,000 growth score, it doesn't matter. Eight is the maximum. And so all you have to do is screenshot this page here with the growth score at least at 100,000 or higher, and then you get the rewards. What are the rewards in case you're wondering? Check this out. For every single character that you certify, that you confirm, 100 Chaos Norn Stones, 100 Black Antimatter, and 100,000 Gold. And then you get bonus Cosmic Cube Fragments for hitting 2, 4, 6, or 8. So all players, even if you're a brand new player that started this game today, you can get 400 Chaos Norn Stones, 400 Black Antimatter, 400k Gold, and 50 CCF. Yeah, 50. And then, if you can do all 8, you get 110 Cosmic Cube Fragments, which is like a day's worth of playing Null, plus you get 800 Chaos Norn Stones, 800 Black Antimatter, and almost a million Gold. Look at this, maximum certification rewards. These rewards are genius. These are brilliant, amazing rewards. These are the rewards we need to keep seeing in the game. Thank you, Marvel Future Fight. Keep giving us these rewards. Yes, yes, yes. Big, big thumbs up for this. So just remember, you know, don't write your name incorrectly. Don't screenshot characters that are not part of the update. You know, don't break any of the rules. Don't be a goof uh, and you'll get all the rewards. Super, super easy, right? All you have to do is build up these characters a little bit. As you can see here, I mean, I have Dakin at tier two, but basically besides the ISO 8 set, I haven't built him at all. No obelisk, no type enhancement. Uh, some of his skills are level six, but some of them are level three, but that does count towards the growth score. So that's an easy one to do if you don't want to invest other materials. I uh, the Uru is completely blank, but you could equip Uru's to bump his uh, growth score. And then he's tier two. You can get to 100K growth score with a tier one character. So keep that in mind. And just to give you guys more hope, check out this. This is someone that posted, I'm not doing this in a bad way, but I just want to show you guys, this is Laxus428, shout out to you. He has a two-star sentry who's already over 100K. 
See that? It's easy peasy. Tier one, Scorpion, 100K. So you don't even need these characters to be tier two. Green Goblin, Groot, fantastic. So do not miss this event. Super easy way to get a, a ton of materials. Like I'm talking two days worth of Black Antimatter, three or four days worth of Chaos Nornstones, a day's worth of CCF from Null, 100 CCF, that's one eighth of the way to a brand new tier three character, or that's half the CCF that you need for an awakening. It's so good. And then 800,000 K gold, you know, you know, I'm trying to gobble and swallow all that gold up, you know, gobble me, swallow me. So yeah, really, really happy to see that event. I love it when they uh, reward us properly. It really means a lot. Also, in case you guys are wondering really quickly, the next update, they've already posted the star creator announcement. So they're they're asking for star creators. In case you're wondering, I'm not going to be applying. Um, I'm just not interested in it yet. If they continue to improve the rewards in the game, especially for all players, you know, if they improve TCP rewards, if they improve crystal rewards, daily crystals or weekly crystals, if they improve the, the, the card farming rewards for all players, uh, maybe I'll return for the February update. But that is my um, goal right now is to use my absence from the star creator club to get them to continue to improve the rewards if they want me advertising their game if they want me advertising the apk properly and not just saying hey guys i saw this or i saw that uh then they need to step up with the rewards but the good thing that we know here from this is that they are accepting uh new people to join or whatever to, to apply until the day before christmas eve which means that we are probably if, if i had to guess we would be seeing the update uh, on the first or sorry, not the update, the, the update on the 6th of January and the Facebook live stream, if there's gonna be one on the 1st of January. So we're not that far away. We're less than two weeks from seeing the APKs and seeing the Facebook live stream with Cage and Kim. So without further ado, now that I've banged through everything else, let's get to Null. Apologies for uh, sort of delaying the pertinent information in the video, but essentially we're talking about Null and we're talking about these uh, uh, rewards these requirements for uh, unlocking null so we're gonna now go through this and see uh, if we can sort of figure out the best way to do this so essentially in order to unlock null uh, I'm not sure if you need to do anything else besides like get through the story mode or whatever but once you have done all that all you need to do is beat every single one of the bosses every single one of the other bosses five times so you have to beat Cable five times, Scarlet Witch, Apocalypse, Proxima, Thanos, Corvus, Cull Obsidian, Ebony Maw. I don't think you have to beat Supergiant. Supergiant is the only one that's excluded. And the reason why I know Supergiant is excluded is because she doesn't have an ultimate mode. So you just need to do Proxima, you know, the, the, the five over here, and then the four over there. You have to beat them each five times. So these bosses will be automatically unlocked for you. However, these four bosses will not be unlocked automatically. In order to unlock the ultimate modes for these four bosses, you're going to have to complete tasks. Now, the way that they structure it, they want you to complete the Quicksilver tasks first to unlock Quicksilver. Then you use Quicksilver to unlock, I believe it's Cable. And then you use these two to unlock Scarlet Witch. And then you use these three to unlock uh, to unlock um, Apocalypse. So you sort of go, you know, around in kind of like a weird circle thing, zigzag circle. However, building up all of these characters is very costly. Uh, you do have two characters that cost black antimatter, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are not mutants. They are um, considered aliens. So they require black antimatter. Quicksilver is pretty cheap. He's only 4,400 black antimatter uh, and whatever, 30, 40 million gold still a lot but not nearly as much as his sister she costs double so 8800 black antimatter 50 60 70 million gold basically the same amount of gold that you watched me spend doing molecule man yeah so you probably don't want to build up scarlet witch from one star to six stars just to play null it's going to deplete your resources for weeks or months on the on the on the bright side on the plus side cable and apocalypse cost feathers feathers although a rare resource have a cap so once you hit that cap, you really just are, you're really just looking for a character to spend it on, right? That's why we were so happy to see Dakin because we just needed somebody to spend feathers on, right? Because once it gets to the cap, I can't do anything. I'm just, you know, all the extra feathers that I would be collecting are just burning up into dust. So you have the feathers that you can use on Cable and Apocalypse. However, you're still going to need to use on top of the feathers biometrics 
and gold. So they're not necessarily cheap characters. It's just that there's one less really important resource to sacrifice, i.e. Black Antimatter, Chaos Nordstones. So what is the absolute most optimal way? Well, the least optimal way, if you're a veteran player, you built up these characters long time ago. Even if you didn't buy their newest uniforms, you did build them up back in the day. So you've done all of these quests. So just play through each of them five times and then go and play Null. I've honestly seen players say that they don't want to and that sort of boggles my mind. They're like, I don't want to waste a full day of playing Cable and then another full day of playing Scarlet and then another full day of playing Apocalypse. That's only three days that you're sacrificing. Sure, you could have played Proxima for those three days or Ebony and you could have gotten CCF and Black Antimatter, but that's three days sooner that you can play Null. And even if you could only beat Null once a day, that's 15 plus guaranteed CCF. 15 is the minimum amount of CCF that Null can drop. He could drop 20, 30, 40 CCF on stage one. So you are giving up for every day that you delay it, you're giving up at least 15 CCF, at least, or more. Meaning that if you can clear Null just once a month or just, just once a day for a month, that's 500 plus CCF. It's technically 450, but there's no way that you're gonna hit 15 every single day for 30 days. So as long as you can clear Null at least once a day, as long as you have at least one set, one team of tier threes and or awakened characters, then you should absolutely be thinking about building, you know, doing those requirements and unlocking him. Now, if you don't have, and this is where a lot of players fall, that you don't have all of these other characters unlocked. You don't have Cable maxed out. You don't have Apocalypse maxed out. Maybe you haven't done the Scarlet Witch quest at all. Here's what you want to do, okay? Now I'm going to assume that you basically haven't done anything. I talked about what you should do if you have all of the characters unlocked. Now I'm going to assume you don't have any of the characters unlocked. If you have none of the characters unlocked on this right side, here's what you want to do. You want to work through the Quicksilver tasks. I don't have them in front of me, but they're not that difficult. It's like doing dimension missions, um, combining ISO or whatever. Do those missions as fast as possible. It may take you a couple of days, if three, four, five days, something like that. But complete all of those quests to unlock his ultimate mission and then play his ultimate mission five times, of course, because that's one of the requirements for Null. Um, and then play him until you unlock him because you're going to need more biometrics of Quicksilver to unlock him. Once you've unlocked Quicksilver, you are actually going to have to build him up to six stars. So that is going to be an investment that you make. However, good news, Quicksilver can do Null. He's not the greatest character for Null, but he's safe to play because he has iframes and tons of guaranteed dodge. So he doesn't get annoyingly stunned and knocked back as much as other characters. And Quicksilver may get an you know, uniform in the future. He may get another upgrade um, and that could put him right back into the meta because he has native penetration for, for PvP and stuff like that. So he's honestly not the worst investment in the world, and he's the cheapest investment out of the four. After you've done Quicksilver and you've ranked him up, here's where it does get a little bit more complicated. So basically what you're going to do is, because see, if, if you just want to skip through all this and you don't want to listen to any of this advice, it's extremely costly. Every single stage of Null that you don't, every single unlock challenge that you don't want to complete costs 1000 750 crystals so just three quests is over 5,000 crystals also shout out to dc for sending me these screenshots so basically i'm trying to reduce the number of challenges you have to do so you finish the ones on this side the ebony and the black order then you finish quicksilver so now you have three challenges left which is still 5,000 crystals it's way too expensive so what do you do you start to complete the cable missions that require you to play with quicksilver you get to the point where you build up your cable um, almost. I mean, actually, I don't think you build up cable. You just complete cable uh, and then you unlock him and then you move on to Scarlet Witch. For Scarlet Witch, it's going to ask you to complete the cable stage, you know, within 15 seconds, within 30 seconds, and you can get that done. But then it's going to ask you, you're going to get to the end and it's going to have a growth challenge where you have to reach five star mastery with cable. And then this one where you clear cable with Quicksilver on the team. You can get that one done. It does take a long time. It would take 15 days. It's a little bit too long, right? 15 days is 15 days that you would not be playing null. Even if it's once a day, that is 15 times 15. That's whatever, 225 CCF that you wouldn't be able to obtain, right? Because you'd be sacrificing those runs once a day doing uh, the ultimate stage of cable. So you finish all of the other uh, Scarlet Witch tasks, challenges, until you get down to these two here. Then you basically have the choice of whether you're going to do the reach five star mastery for cable or not. Uh, if you choose to do, if you choose to skip them both, it costs 900 crystals. 
if you do the cable mastery and then skip this one it costs you 450 crystals so it's much much cheaper to do it this way than to just go into the, the null one and skip it that way so you basically get through all the quicksilver stuff and build him up you get through all the cable stuff and i believe you partially build him up but not all the way with feathers and then you go through all of the scarlet witch quests until you get here and then you skip these for crystals you space you spend 900 crystals or 450 or 900 um skipping those and then you unlock her stage then you play her stage five times to get five of her bios and then you're done because unfortunately the apocalypse challenges require you to reach six stars with cable and scarlet witch that cost that investment is much much too high so rather than building up scarlet witch to six stars and rather than building up cable to six stars and then having to play 15 times which is again going to set you back possibly a month or at least you know two weeks you skip this one you skip the the apocalypse challenge in the null challenge requirement so you would finish this one you'd finish this one and you'd have just number nine left which is clearing apocalypse five times and then you would skip that one complete now for 1750 crystals so in total you're spending either 2200 crystals if you do the one skip of scarlet witch and the one skip of null or you're spending 2650 crystals to do the one skip of null on apocalypse and the two skip of scarlet witch now this strategy is the fastest way to get to null it's not the best way in the sense that you're not going to have apocalypse built up and you're not going to have scarlet witch built up and you're not going to have cable built up some people would argue that those characters are really important and you need them i would argue that it's really up to you it's really your call it's very expensive it's going to cost you tons of gold it's probably going to set you back months from playing null if you want to build up apocalypse cable and scarlet witch so you really at that point have to look at your account and judge and see and, and basically you know ask that question is my account strong enough to fight null or do i actually maybe need scarlet witch need apocalypse need cable for null keep in mind though cable can't do null at all so that's not even relevant he could be a striker uh, but Scarlet Witch and Apocalypse would not only need their uniform, which is, you know, 1,000 or 1,500 crystals, and they would need to be Tier 3. And they are both 1,600 CCF Tier 3 characters. They're good. They can do Null. They're both leaderships, but they're not the best characters for Null. They are overshadowed against Null by characters that are much cheaper, like Moonstone, Moon Knight, um, Carnage, Venom. Those characters are faster than Scarlet Witch or Apocalypse. For null they could they, they're faster and they can go higher and they don't even necessarily need a ctp of rage um and they're half the cost they're 800 ccf tier threes so in my opinion if you have the crystals to spend and you and you have a pretty decent roster and you can get you know maybe one or two null clears a day maybe three you know one with sharon rogers one with somebody else then my opinion my advice would be rush to get him with the strategy spend the 2000 crystals look at the 2000 crystals as a as a down payment because those 2000 crystals will allow you to farm like i said an extra 500 or an extra 1000 ccf a month and then in two or three months you turn around and you're like i have an extra 2000 3000 ccf that i wouldn't have otherwise had now i can go back and i can tier three apocalypse right i can go or i can tier three doctor strange and somebody else and somebody else or i can complete the entire century quest and i can use Sentry as another clear for null so in my opinion i think that's a better strategy because the thing with apocalypse and scarlet witch is just building them up is, is not even enough you still have to buy their uniform you still have to unlock their potential and you still have to get them to tier three all the while all those weeks months you're falling behind on ccf ccf is not the only resource we need i don't want to stress it too much but for a lot of players it ends up being their big um gate their big their big bottleneck once you get later into the game and once you build up more characters tcp and essence of dimension become the real bottleneck right ccf isn't really the bottleneck for me right now but i'm really happy you can see here the bottleneck for me is, is titan component packs but you know what i'm happy that i have so much ccf that i can actually go to certain characters i'm not going to do it but i'll show you that i can do it and i can actually rank up their potential with ccf not only do i dodge the i, I completely avoid the rng of doing the 10 percent method but I also save Black Antimatter and Chaos Lornstones, which I can then pump into building characters like Doctor Doom, uh, Scarlet Witch. So you can look at that that null investment as a way of fast tracking Scarlet Witch 
because then you don't have to use black antimatter for a character's potential. And you're going to need to invest in potential to get characters to tier 3. So it's a, it creates a really nice payback on the progression loop. And it honestly makes a ton of sense. So hopefully this has helped you out. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. If you need more advice, uh, hit me up on uh, YouTube or on Twitter or go to the Discord and ask there. People can sort of look at your account if you send screenshots and sort of try and figure things out with you if you're if you're still stuck and you don't know what to, what to do. But hopefully this has been helpful to you and hopefully you will now um, have the information and the knowledge you need and the confidence you need to either forge ahead to unlock Null or make a few more tweaks to your roster, make a few more investments into characters and then forge ahead into Null because you don't want to let it go for too long. You don't want to delay it for too long. Um, you definitely want to get that extra CCF and believe in yourself. You can clear Null. He's not that difficult. You got to smash that symbiote guy in the face and show him who's boss. Okay, hopefully this has helped. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.